What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long winter off season here in the Carolinas. Uh, we are joined tonight for a fun little power hour here at the Biz Park. Uh, so, quick pointers 60 minute ride. Uh, my normalized power was 299. I uh, did some good training over the winter, got my FTP up just a fuzz, so hopefully to be a little bit more competitive this season for you guys on some videos. We were jumping straight into the action. We were four minutes in, so uh, only just got done doing our first lap, and we're going a little too slow. On the front, if you can see up the road, we have one guy already who's rolled off the front. He got a, a little bit of a free ride from an e-biker. Um, luckily, he kind of the e-biker pulls off, pulls the pin, and uh, we start reeling in this little first lap flyer. Got a bunch of teammates on this ride tonight, and uh, it, it's super fun with, um, normally this ride is like a really fast, you know, tempo ride, threshold ride, but whenever um, some, some teams or some stronger riders come out, a lot of crit tactics come into play, counters, big, attacks over the top of people and boom just like that here comes a massive attack on the downhill got some teammates following that and all the main hitters are looking to to get into this thing and uh it, it's super fun um this ride's normally not like this so it, you know this is a great time to kind of tune up for some upcoming races we've got going on um, this attack quickly gets shut down and brought back as it is way too early in the group to uh, to be making that move. Pushing ahead, we were 20 minutes in. Um, excited to uh, to get this season off to a start. We've gotten a a rolling attack coming off the top of the hill. These are always super painful. Uh, start leapfrog guys kind of like trying to look ahead to see who's pulling who's not pulling our gaps opening up and sure enough like some gaps are starting to open up and I've got to make a decision quick to come around some riders uh, first off well I'm wearing the chest cam today and uh, sorry for the low light it does not do well with the camera or the stabilization so unfortunately later on in this video it just it it does become pretty grainy but uh, hold on, there's good content, uh, a good fun finish. Yeah, we've got this attack going. So there's three guys up the road right now. We're trying to leapfrog up to them. It is a lot of the main hitters. And um, I'm trying to do my best to like judge if I need to go or not. As soon as there's some hesitation and a gap's big enough, I'm like, let's hit it. Check the rear cam, got a decent gap. Do a look over the shoulder keeping the power down. I'm wanting to close this down as quickly as I can, but not blow my wad at the same time. Luckily, the downhill is super friendly. Uh, you can get super, super arrow, super low, and close this thing down. But if you look at the rear cam, again, we're still 20 minutes in. It, it, we're pretty fresh, and um, some riders don't want this to go away, and they bring it right back together. But yeah, guys, it's uh, it's been a fun off season. Um, We've got some, some new riders, some stronger riders coming through for the team. Hopefully we'll get them on the channel, show some videos of them. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's going to be a fun time. Uh, same old, same old here on the channel. We're going to do race and house stuff and uh, keep it pretty, pretty tame. All right, we have a hard digger. 33 minutes in, we're halfway, and uh, we got a hard launch over the top. This is super painful. Uh, I love attacking at this spot because, you know, you've you've gone fast on the flats, and it's as soon as it slows up on this little kicker, you just smash it, and now you can see the field is starting to get strung out. Guys are yelling at each other like, "Hold that wheel, keep pedaling," all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, man, you got to be smart. You got to follow wheels here. Quickly latch on, and we have just a small little gap nothing super intimidating and you really got to be smart right here it's it's halfway and this is really when guys want to ramp up their attacks and really want a, a breakaway to go so anytime something something starts going up the road like you've got to be ready to pounce on it i quickly shut the engine down as i know check check the rear cam and notice that the group's coming up behind us pushing ahead just a uh, moments later and the group's kind of settled in just for a second on this half a lap but up in the front, we've got a pretty big attack. You can hardly see it up there on the right. And I'm like, oh, I've got to, I've got to connect to that. 
and bust out a 1100 watts really quick and unfortunately just being that far back there's plenty of guys to kind of fill in and unfortunately i just wasted a good bit of snap and some watts right there to try and leaf hog to the front yes there's some gaps opening up but the group is pretty streamlined right now and as you can tell they're they're coming through pretty quick to close that down um this is where a solo rider uh starts to make his move so right here when it slows down he counters on the right hand side unfortunately we can't see them uh, i'm a little too far back and i'm just kind of maintaining pace right now and trying to uh, assess look ahead it if you guys ever race in a in a fast group at night with all these lights it can be a little disorienting sometimes and then we have traffic coming and opposite away so trying to pay attention and, and be on top of things is can be tough sometimes all right i'm slowly moving back up through the group uh trying to conserve some energy after you know burning a match for literally nothing and you can see way up in the road we've got that single tail light that is our rider who sent a flyer off uh, the rider that's going up there is a really big threat. He has a great diesel motor and threshold power, and um, I feel like I need to cover that. I've got some buddies on the front who I know will maybe keep it a little chill, uh, maybe maybe block for me a little bit on this fun power hour here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Keep it hard. Um, this was the first time all night I really tested to see if I could bridge to see if I could hold a sustained effort um, you know you gotta you do all this winter training you feel like you've got good fitness the numbers are looking good but you know how do you test it you go out and ride with the homies and you put down some watts um, this this hill was killing me um, I was definitely not rested enough coming into this heart rates looking good but 17 miles an hour 18 miles an hour it's, it's not gonna cut it right now and the group is gaining on me super fast I hear an up in my rear and really do as much as I can really doing 400 watts over the top of this hill only going 21 is just not fast enough uh, luckily I have some more snap in me real quick to catch on to this three-man bridge and so now we are four um, I made a critical error right here. I like waited. I saw Josh right there on the left kind of like come over to the side and I was like, you know, I'm gonna let him slot in. And so I hesitated just for a second and look at the huge gap that I created. Um, that is probably my biggest error of the night. Super disappointing. But if you look at the rear cam, the train of the Peloton is coming. It is single file, it is fast. Um, they're going around me, they're motivated to keep it up. And this thing quickly gets shut down but we still have that single rider off the front dangling. All right, pushing ahead to 50 minutes in. So now the, uh, the ride has evolved a little bit. We have one of our buddies, teammates, he is up the road with the single rider. So now we have two guys up in a breakaway and it has been pretty chill for the uh, remainder of the ride so far. And they've, they've established a breakaway there. <laughs> Every now and then we can see their tail lights, but it's nothing crazy. And if you notice here, I'm popping off an attack at the top of the hill. You can see one single tail light up the road. Another rider had launched a little bit sooner. And now I'm like, okay, 10 minutes left. Like, let's see if I can close this down and start a little two man chase group. Um, I do my best right here to keep the speed high and get to this rider as quickly as possible. I'm trying to be aero, trying to be efficient. Um, I get to him fairly quickly and I notice like we're only going 27 I need we need to be going a little bit faster on this downhill so I just immediately go around him I give him just a second to catch on and then we punch it back up he catches on and now we're uh, we're dancing a little bit um, two-man chase group I think I had a couple buddies on the front or near the front so there was a little bit of disruption and slowing in the pace so it's hard to see right now but when we flick an elbow through you'll see that we have a pretty good gap. Um, working with my man Albert on this one right here. Um, old strong man, he's super fun to ride with. He does a lot of the super fast rides around Charlotte and does some other racing from time to time. Um, great 
he's always committed. He, he, if you're in a group with him, you know that he's going to lay out for it. So it's super fun. He does his pull. I come through on mine. I notice we still need to keep the pace high. Look in the rear cam. We still have a pretty good gap. I think it's slowly growing. Uh, this section of the, the peanut is really tough. You just come off the downhill and you feel like you have all this like momentum coming off the downhill but like look i'm doing over i was just do, doing over 400 watts and it is so painful um needless to say we stayed away for about a lap or so maybe a little bit longer and uh unfortunately the peloton was hungry they did not want us to go away and we got reabsorbed so we are skipping ahead guys to the last half lap we just hit the one hour mark so this is the uh the bell lap for you I have navigated my way through the group and sure enough, like on any last lap of, you know, whether it's a race or a fast group ride or something like that, we had a couple attacks on the downhill. So it's getting a little strung out. You can check the rear cam. Everyone is kind of trickling their way along and trying to leapfrog into the group and close it down. Uh, while I have found myself about sixth or seventh wheel, um, I'm trying to play this smart. Uh, it's really cold. And I know a lot of the stronger guys, uh, we have two guys up the road that are really strong, but then a lot of the stronger guys were in front of me. And so I knew that we were so far out, you can see everyone's fanning, you know, they're, they're trying to like get back off the front. And so they can recover a little bit before this sprint. Um, teammate Nick comes on the right to keep the pace high. Perfect, um, perfectly timed. He enticed the lead, these leaders in front of me to uh, ramp back up again and allowing me to honestly like stay sheltered, uh, stay in a good wheel, even though I'm, I'm pumping out a couple watts to, to maintain. But this is looking really pretty. Um, our normal lead out crew is kind of nowhere to be found. So, you know, we're still, I mean, let's say a thousand yards from the finish right here. It's a long way to go. Uh, it's getting a little single file. I'm, I know we're getting closer now, so I'm trying to leapfrog and get a little closer. Riders are checking their checking and seeing where people are and now we're sitting pretty we're hit, starting to hit the kicker and uh josh moore right in front of me is the guy i want to be on uh i know he's super strong he's got a lot of snap and as soon as he goes i'm all over him trying staying his draft as best as i can it's looking good he is smashing it smashing it he's been on the front for so long and uh, as soon as i time it and feel like it's time to go um, lay out all the peanuts on the table and give it the beans sprinting to the line and uh, take home third for the fun group ride and if you look ahead of us it's kind of our seat there are our two breakaway guys and we caught them so fast and if we would have had another lap uh, half a lap we would have caught them and um, you know props to them for staying away for so long and uh, finishing okay, guys, first on the ride and uh yeah guys hope you enjoyed it here's a little taste of what's to come for the season uh same old same old here on new type cycling appreciate you for watching